just ran to check up on myself. Some days I just have to check up on myself. I'm so icy, got that GG on my belt. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Lost a lot, but I came out with no L's. Thank the Lord for my people in my hell. Then I'm fine as hell from my head down to my nails. My man tripping cause I got another cell. He still buy me by a cell. I could get it by myself. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with Drew Brees and the New Orleans Saints. Lutz now to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. It's a loss of four. Now third down. To throw is Prescott. Steps away to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. He's got his target. It's Cobb. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at the 45. How about them biting off 15 yards there on the fourth down attempt and keeping the drive alive? Now Prescott. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Alex Anzalone. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott on the left side. Gallup's got it. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 47 yards. Brandon, we've both been around the game long enough that we know that in pregame, defenses are pretty amped up, aren't they? I mean, they're pounding lockers, and they can't wait to get out there. But when you hit him with some big pass plays early, it takes the starts right out of him. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now back to the ground with Elliott. And once more, this play going in the wrong direction. The Saints get to him behind the line again. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable. And you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt. I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. So on fourth down, on comes the Dallas kicker, Brett Maher. From the right hash, this from 33. The kick by Maher is good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3 nothing lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line.
So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and ten, just shy of the 30. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. Look at the dance of the juke! And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one good for 33 and a first. Boy, does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. On third down, here's Kamara. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. A loss of a yard and it brings up fourth. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And a methodical drive last time. They couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blow is the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field and giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Buying time to his left. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. Kamara now to return. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Oh, 
We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. We need, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. Call it a loss of two on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. Five nine. 36, 36. 36. Now they'll throw with Breeze. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Kill, kill! Breeze leaves this one with Camara. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further. As they get him down well short of the line to gain. It'll be a gain of five, and the punt team will now come out on fourth down. They do go for it. It's Breeze. He's going to have his running back. It's complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Sammy, Sammy! From midfield, here's Breeze. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Looking deep downfield. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Back deep for the Cowboys, Tavon Austin. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. He's got a first down past the 30. And finally, down at the 36-yard line. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Second half ready to roll. Two field goals, the combined output in half number one. Could be first touchdown wins. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Saints take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, 
try and figure out what is working and call more of that. And it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. From just shy of midfield, Breeze looking sideline incomplete. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara, and it's third and short. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Bree's gonna throw. And he's gonna go down. They sack him back at the 42. Tyrone Crawford coming in to drop him for a loss of eight. And it also brings up fourth. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. So here we go on fourth down with Breeze. Open man is Michael Thomas. Facing a fourth down, they come away with 18 yards and the first down conversion. Every play is supposed to get a player's best effort. But on fourth down, that really increases the stakes, doesn't it? What about that catch? Heck of an effort picking up the first. And now that team has to be motivated going forward. They just saw a great effort there. They want to make sure it pays off. Ten more there and another first down. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Shotgun now for Breeze. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Robert Quinn. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Demarcus Lawrence able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Snap comes at one, and now Breeze. And he's going to go down again. Malik Collins. That's now back-to-back -back sacks, and it brings up fourth down. I remember when I was a kid, and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs. They covered well, allowed for the sacks. So does were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they, a dime? What were they? Uh, 15 cents. Let's go, They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. They go to Elliott again. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. A gain of 13. It's a first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Elliott. 
Into the secondary again. And all the way up to the 45-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. Here we go, 46. Check, 55. On second and 11 now. Prescott. That one complete, Elliott. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. On third down, it's Prescott. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he had been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique, except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. The Cowboys will go. Prescott, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. Ready. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Kamara try the right side. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Check, nickel, nickel, nickel. 21, 21. Chip, chip. Couple, couple. Hey, easy. Move, move. Again, it's Kamara. Sixteen yards, a first down. Probably had sixty thousand thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call, big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. On the ground, this is Camara, and yeah, he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Second down, Camara. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. Ready? 95, 56. 55. Two kill. Two kill. Watch twist. Watch twist. On the ground, Camara. And he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Now here's a timeout as they will indeed call it with five seconds to go and a chance with a field goal to win the game. So it all rests now on the right leg of Will Lutz. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So it all rests now on the right leg of Will Lutz. And his kick here is good. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So he's able to come through in a hostile environment, and you'd have to imagine that's the game winner. Yeah, how about that? And the way that this game's gone... You think they really wanted to get to overtime and take their chances there? They wanted to get this thing done. When you're the visitor, you don't want to play into overtime. You want to knock it down, get it done, and go home.
Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won, <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end, but what a game all the way through. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Big D. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Atlanta Falcons. Here's Bosher to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And he hits Jason Witten, the tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards on the game's opening play. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. 
Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 59 yards. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their own 21. Now Ryan. This one complete to Devontae Freeman. And finally out of bounds, all the way down at about the two. A big play there on the catch and run, 77 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Now it's Ryan. And this is going to be intercepted. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. Following the touchdown, here's Moore to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. And typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing again. Ryan. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Ryan. It's caught. Jones. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Getting it out left side to Sanu. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Anthony Brown there on the tackle. 
And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. On third down, Devontae Freeman. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. On first down, Ryan. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the shotgun, Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had to read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. On second down, Freeman. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. 14 0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. yards out as they are now on the board here in the first half bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone so obviously his confidence was never lost and that's a good thing to see great quality to have you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback but i have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game just a second drive they've worked on these plays all week in practice put them in, put them to good use on that one That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They start on the ground with Elliott. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Prescott. Got his man there, complete to Gallup. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, Charles, while we have a moment, you know what we need to do here is give a nod to the new Hall of Famers who were brought into Canton and inducted on August the 3rd. Champ Bailey, Pat Bolin, Gil Brandt, Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law, Kevin Mawai, Ed Reed, and Johnny Robinson, all part of the class. Fantastic class. 
When you talk about guys who played at a top level, obviously they're Hall of Famers. But what I found interesting about it is you've got a great pass catcher, the best pass catching tight end in history in Tony Gonzalez. How would he like to work against this secondary? Champ Bailey and Ty Law at corner. Ed Reed and Johnny Robinson at safety. Good luck trying to get open against those four. What a matchup that would have been, but it was a terrific night for those gentlemen. Congratulations. And of course, Ed Reed's bust will go down in history because they got the hair exactly right. And Ed had a ball up there in his Hall of Fame speech. And remember, next year, they're going to celebrate the centennial year of the NFL with a special class of 20. So get ready for those speeches. I wonder if they'll do it like Johnny Robinson this year, who actually submitted a video instead of going up to the podium. And his speech was about five minutes long. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Give him 30 yards there. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. They run. Devontae Freeman. And Freeman lost the football. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Defensive end, Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. Been such an impressive first half to get that lead. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Much by four, much by four, much by four. To throw is Ryan. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. The Falcons on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and 19. Here's Ryan to throw. The left side completion to Jones. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. 21 yards there on third down. This is Freeman on first and 10. Devontae Freeman, they're not going to get him. Touchdown, Falcons. Devontae Freeman, 50 yards, as his guys are back within a single score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. 
And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. And the defense loses him. It's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Michael Gallup, 75 yards. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lift your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But it's also something to challenge in your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Ryan now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. They toss to Freeman. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Second and 11 now. Ryan. Oh, wide open. Complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Calvin Ridley as the first half is winding down as his guys are back within a single score. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far and fun to watch. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just... And he fires one that's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Falcon defense has a touchdown. 
Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw. A free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And he goes out of bounds after a solid return to the 45. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. He's coming. Hey, hey, two, two. Two, two, three, two. Final play of the half. Prescott. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect. But overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Freeman again, a first down carry. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big run there by Freeman, 43 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. Ryan. Oh, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now a toss right, Freeman. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 12 yards there and a first down. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just this series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, what are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And now a tenth carry for Freeman. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. Instead, it's fourth down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Dan Quinn's guys unable to come through there on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. Three 
The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Their defense did its job, yielded no points. Now it's the offense's turn. And how much fun is that when you set things up to start a half and you just tell you guys, hey, if you can shut them down, get it back for our offense, we can roll. And they played out perfectly. Now, can they? No, oh, Elliott going to be hit. He coughs it up. Loose football. And the Falcons grab it. And it won't count for six. He's brought down, but inside the five. First and goal at the four-yard line. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. They'll run here with Freeman. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you are two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. This is third and goal now. 80,000 on their feet here in Arlington. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, Charles, if you think so far the early part of the preseason, who has stood out? If you take a peek back at the draft, it really, the first round, it was pretty defensively minded. But there were three quarterbacks taken, Kyler Murray first, Daniel Jones sixth, Dwayne Haskins 15th. Of those guys, they've looked pretty good. I agree with you, Brandon. When you talk about those three quarterbacks, and you're right, the rest of the draft, we're talking about big linemen, right? We're talking about defensive players, not a lot of skilled players in the first round. But let's take the quarterbacks very quickly. Kyler Murray by acclamation, went to Arizona, everyone excited about it, and I think his team remains excited about his prospects. They're eager to see him play. He became the starter as soon as he was drafted. Daniel Jones, that was a different situation in New York. The fans were real excited about him coming in, but the reason they drafted him has a similar demeanor and talent to Eli Manning, and he's acquitting himself quite nicely in the early going. And Dwayne Haskins a little more up and down in Washington, but they love the big arm of this guy. And he's back at home. Remember, he grew up in Potomac, Maryland. Throw right side, taken in by Gallup. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 27. To throw again on second down. Prescott. To the right side, he's got Cooper. It's complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Back now in Arlington. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Prescott to throw it. Forced out to his left. He's got his target. It's called. And he gets it down to the 48. Enough for the first. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through, picking up the first. First down, Prescott. Flushed out right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Elliott. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 16 yards, a first down. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't it? Prescott finding Witten and only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here we go, here we go. Good, good. 
Prescott. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. This one caught left side by Cooper. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They'll go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, they might reduce it. Might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they've still been blocking for a while in this game. They don't get one mulligan up front. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight How's ounce. that? Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's Ryan. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. He's back to throw. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to come up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. That'll be a loss of four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. second long now it's third and even longer they're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to but you're exactly right definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards it's third and very long from the shotgun a give to Elliott They get 13, but it's not nearly enough. And it'll be fourth down. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now 
That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're only in need of a field goal, a decent amount of time on the clock. So tell me if I'm wrong. You don't have to be too panicked here. No, not at all. I agree with you. And this is where your preparation and your confidence comes into play. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Austin Hooper, 65 yards. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. I don't think you got it, sir. Here's Prescott. Caught left side by Cobb. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Prescott to throw. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be caught. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper with time running out. And they have taken the lead here in the final minute. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll put it out to the 25. Ready. 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. Hey, you. Now Ryan. Throw right side caught by Ridley. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington. All my records go hard, this a champion hit yeah. I've been working for this moment like I've been in the gym Jumping all over hurdles, I'm evading the pit yeah. Tend to hit with anybody, take them, I can shake them yeah. I invite them to the fire, then I bake them, I'ma break them I'm a Hall of Fame legend, they should go and hang my jersey yeah. Made to put in work, I don't think they really hurt me like yeah. Move the chains, I'm about to make a play
EA Sports coverage of the NFL is in Houston in the Space City at NRG Stadium. They do it big here in Houston, and a second ago it was a Texas-sized welcome for their hometown guys. They're fired up and ready to go as they get set to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. And an alley to run. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. The completion good for three and it's second down. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. At that first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Hey, hey, hey. We got three. We got three. Three down. Three down. Now Watson. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there and a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. A big play on the ground there and goes for 36 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, Watson. That is caught. Hopkins for the Texans touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins there to make the grab. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. DJ Reader there on the tackle. Well, they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Being chased out left. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Prescott on first down. Now he's going to go deep down the left. Well, that's caught at the 25. 39 yards there. A big one. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Here we go, 46. 
On second and seven, Prescott. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. J.J. Watt in there for the sack on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. The Texans here on third down, putting an extra defender in the secondary. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Going right side, he has Witten. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. to his right and this is caught at the eight some collective exhales over there on the sideline a big pick up through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal they'll try and run for it on first and goal and he will fight his way into the end zone for a cowboy touchdown an eight yard touchdown run as they are now on the board here in the first half and they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Throwing on second and eight, Watson. His throw incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target, and it's third down. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Watson throwing the out route incomplete. It's Johnson, and he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. They are going for it. Here's Watson. He finds his target, Fuller. Touchdown, Houston. Will Fuller, 69 yards. And the Texans have taken the lead. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch-counterpunch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, get into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love we'll it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. It's a first down on a gain of 10. A 
reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. The first down carry by Elliott, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Throwing on second down. Prescott eluding the pressure right. Got his man there complete to Gallup. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 15 yards on the play. First down. They'll run on first down. Elliott. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it. So those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty good. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point by Moore, up and good. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back-and-forth first half. And more narrowly, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The people in the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. And the fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just tallying them up, aren't they? <laughs> they're watching this game. From the 30 on second down, Watson. The hookup on the right side to Hopkins. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Mike. Get the ball. On first and ten, Watson sliding out of the pocket. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 50, it's Watson. Man open, that's Kiki QT complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 39. To throw is Watson, escaping the pressure right. And he'll find QT on the right side complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Watson on first down. He gets it left side to Johnson. No gain on the screen there at second down. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. To the air yet again. Watson looking for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Jeff Heath, the strong safety, able to get in there on the coverage. Brings up third down and ten. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive, as this is third and ten. Here we go. 
Watson looks to throw again. They'll roll him out right. He may try and run for this. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Deshaun Watson, so multidimensional, able to scramble for the first. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right half, just a 34-yard attempt. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Uh-oh, he is going nowhere as he is enveloped behind the line. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott. Blitz coming and down he goes. To Sean Gibson. Give him the sack on the safety blitz. Well, they've got the slim deficit. Decided to go for it. Hoping to keep the football score and erase that deficit. But, boy, deep in their own territory like that. Let's just say that with that call, me and the head coach will agree to disagree. All right? But he knew he wanted to be aggressive there, as you pointed out. So I guarantee he told his defensive coordinator, have your guys up and ready. I'm going to go for it here. If we don't get it, just make sure they're ready to go out there and bail us out. On first down, it's Watson. Flushed out right. Got an open man. It's QT. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. The quick slant caught. 11 yards there, first down. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Kill, kill, kill. Why, why, why? Get why. And I'm up. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. That almost felt like the defense said he is not getting in. What a play. Not only stopping him at the line, but pushing him back a yard as well. To Johnson again. And he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Texans push further out in front. On that sideline, they're saying that was more like it. The first down run went backwards, that time into the end zone. And I like their little successful run, especially one where you lose yardage. You oftentimes go right to throw in the football. They came right back with a running play, and it paid off handsomely. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. This is taken at the three. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Hey, 
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And nearly picked off there. And it would have been a great time for their first pick. Instead, it's second down. Credit the secondary and credit the defensive game plan. They've been in his hip pocket all game long. They understood coming in that he was a big-time receiver. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Prescott now. That escapes the sand. Flush to his right. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. And now offensively it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. First down, Prescott. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. J.J. Watt able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Here's Prescott. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. J.J. Watt in there to get him yet again. That is his third sack tonight. They can't figure him out. And that is caught. It's Witten for the Cowboy touchdown. Jason Witten there to make the grab as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario? Get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 45-yard line. Watson now 13 of 15 passing. That's good for 87%. It's first and 10. From the gun, a run for Johnson. 
And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. From the 36, Watson. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. Running from the gun, Johnson. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us, and let's go. Their time to shine. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. Watson now to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. When a linebacker's able to sit at the second level and see things develop in front of him, as soon as he got a hint that the quarterback was checking it down, he just made a beeline directly for the receiver and ended up making the play. Now Watson, dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. And that touchdown should make you feel comfortable. But do you really feel like it's totally over yet? Not totally, but I think you're pretty much there. Yeah, you still got to make sure you stay with it, do all the right things down the stretch, especially on defense. But that touchdown there, you've got to feel good about your chances. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door. Maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game that's been a frustrating one for you. We'll see if they go back to base. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Prescott to throw it. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Throw it. Prescott. Complete to Jason Witten. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively. Stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Texans as we say so long from Houston.